Now, every one of us had accidentally deleted a file, a folder, a picture, or sometimes even a very important document at some other, other point of our life. And when that happens, we run over to the recycle bin, and if you're lucky, we find it over there. But what if you delete something from external storage, like your phone, your memory card, your pen drive, or even a CD or DVD? Then recovering those files are not possible because then those are permanently deleted. <laughs> not yet. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to recover permanently deleted files from your computer, your CD, your DVD, your pen drive, your memory card your external hard drive or even your phone in two minutes so, so friends the software which are going to use today to recover deleted files is called as the cuba file recovery software now this is one of the best file recovery tool out there i have tested about five to seven file recovery softwares but cuba is one of the best because not only it is free but it was able to recover 98 percent of the files which i have tested on it so let's go ahead with it now you can download the cuba the link to that is in the description that will be the first link after downloading the cuba install it on your pc and open it up now for demonstration purposes we will be intentionally deleting some files on my sd card so let's go over to my sd card over here now one thing you need to make sure is that the uh, the location from where you want to recover the files is a mass storage drive it should look something like this or this or this not like this if it looks like this you will have to mount it on your computer as a mass storage drive only so as you can see over here here's my memory card and i have loaded up like different types of files ranging from like couple of kbs all the way up to 100 mb it has apk files it has system files it has a picture of my dog it has some other pictures it has a document and it ha also has a song and a high definition video and we'll be deleting all of these and we'll be trying to recover them by using the cuba and hopefully we'll be able to recover all of them back so let's delete them all hit on delete and as you can see it's all gone right now my sd card is completely empty so if i had any important files on it right now it's all gone i cannot recover most of the people will panic at this point but don't panic guys let's go ahead and recover it Alright friends, so after downloading the Cuba from the first link in the description, install it on your PC and open it up. It looks something like this and hit up next over here. And here it will ask you for the type of file which you want to recover. Now since our file is a mixture of different types of files, we can go with all files. But if you want to recover a specific type of files, then you can select it from here. It's, if it's a zip format file, you can go with compressed format over here. That will actually make the recovery process much faster. Let's hit up next. And here it will ask you to about the uh, drive directory or the last location of your file. Make sure that you are very specific about the location of the file from where it was deleted. Then the search and the recovery process is actually much faster. But if you are not sure where the file was last deleted from, then you can select I am not sure. It will search the entire computer. That might take a little bit longer but uh, that's the last option you have. If the file was actually emptied from the recycle bin, you can also select the recycle bin. Uh, but since we know the last location of our file, we'll go with specific location over here. You can also recover stuff from a CD and DVD. So let's select our SD card, which is over here, micro SD, and hit on OK. And after all that is done, hit on Next. And here you'll have a deep scan option. If you are not able to find the file which you are searching for in the first scan, you can go with the deep scan. Uh, that will take a little bit more time, but it'll show you better results. But we're gonna go and do it in the normal way and hit on start. And as you can see, that was pretty fast. I already have all the files uh, over here. Let's uh, hit over to the advanced mode so that we can have a look at the files. Click advanced mode over here. And over here, as you can see here, all the files, I think yep, these are all the files which I deleted from my pen drive and as you can see we can also have a preview of the pictures so you can make sure that you can recover the correct picture and as you can see all of these files have a green light on that so none of them are corrupted if it has a yellow or a red light then these files are then the files might be corrupted but you can still recover them all right all our files are fine looking good so let's try to recover them in order to recover your files uh, click on the specific file which you want to recover in our case we'll be recovering all the files so let's hit on the tick boxes over here and click on the recovery button on the bottom over here and it will uh, show you the location where you want to save the recovered file in our case we are going to save it on the desktop hit on ok and it will recover your files to the desktop as you can see it's completed it's only took about 2.3 seconds which was the fastest among all the other softwares out there and as you can see on my desktop over here i had already recovered all the files and all the files are completed here's my dog all the files are recovered and they are in one piece 
Now friends, at this point, a lot of you guys might be wondering that how does this file recovery system actually works? Now let me ask you a very simple question. Have you guys ever wondered where does your files and your data goes when you delete them? Well, it does not simply disappear in thin air. What actually happens is that when you delete something, it remains in the same drive in the same location until it is rewritten or it is replaced by some other files you copy. So when you delete something, it gets converted into a hidden format and it's saved in the same location. And when you write some new files, that block is taken by the new file and then the deleted file is removed from your system so what a file recovery system actually does is that it looks and it search for those hidden blocks on your drive and it makes those available for you so that you can recover them that's the beauty of file recovery software all right friends so before we end let me give you three expert tips which will help you to recover your file faster tip number one is act fast now you need to remember one very important thing is that the longer the time you take the less are the chances of you recovering the file because your file block can be replaced by another file so if you delete something just step back open up Recuva and put on a scan there's a 98 percent chances are there that you will be able to recover your file Tip number two is that be specific. Now, while scanning for your deleted files, make sure that you select the specific drive or the specific folder where the file was deleted. If you don't know the location, you can also put in a complete scan, but that will take a lot of time and the chances of recovering a file is also less. Now friends, tip number three and the final tip which my father gave me when I was a kid, it is be careful because friends, file recovery system can never take the place of file packing system. Uh, if you delete something, the file recovery system might be able to recover it, but it's always better to create a backup of the file. So yeah friends, if this video helped you, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel that will really help the channel to grow. If you are interested in watching more videos like this one and more cool and awesome videos about how to earn money online and Android stuff, do click the links which are shown right now or the links will be in the description. That's about it guys, I'm your host Hardik from the Android guy signing up. Take care friends, bye bye.